weed, I agree, is a better alternative to doing hardcore hallucinogenics. Well, and just, ketamine. I really enjoy ketamine. You I'm, really, I'm just scared of all of it. I always have been, though. Yeah. I Look, from, if you're from Maryland around my age, um, in the 80s, <laughs> there was a college basketball player named Len Bias. And he was as good as Jordan in college. He was going to the Celtics. He was drafted um, yeah. first round, their top pick. And then like two days later, he goes back to college to finish up everything, does some cocaine, and uh -huh. dies. <gasps> dies. And that was our say no to drugs because everyone there was a, like, imagine Wait. growing up in Carolina and it's Jordan in college and he dies. But like, did, he, did he OD or yeah, like he, OD, he just took it, too much? He OD. That was an, and that's the other thing. I, I have, Fuck. I feel sorry for a lot of people. A good friend of mine's daughter, um, she got some fentanyl a couple <gasps> years ago. And I'm not trying to sound funny when I say this, but she went and got a what I would say was a responsible amount of cocaine. She right. got a little bit to, to keep the night going. She was actually going back to her grandmom's place to stay the night, to take care of her in the morning. Just got a personal little bump, and it was stepped on, and it killed her. Um, so I've been talking to my daughter already, who's seven, about fentanyl and drugs i just mm. had a whole conversation Smart. with her about marijuana i admitted to her that i smoke it oh i told her that it's medicine i told her you can eat it you can smoke it i told her that uh, my doctor prescribed it and he knows about it um i explained to her what cbd is and that not everything you smoke is bad but some is horrible for you you know she knows my neighbor smokes cigarettes i'm like do you know i smoke she's like yeah i know i seen you on the balcony she said one night <laughs> I go, okay. And I explained to her like what it is. Um, I explained to her what fentanyl, because I just, I feel like this shit's getting coming young for the younger and younger, know, like already in middle school. She's going to be in fifth grade like that. And I want I her to know. say no to that shit. Say nope you to know? dope. And it's not even because I want her to get, don't want her to get addicted right now. And I want you to die from one fucking, I, I mean, know. A, you know, so I had to explain to her because he, my friend comes to visit us and I asked him about his daughter and you know she's like what happened and so I'm honest with her I'm not going to lie to her about it. No you should scare you should scare the shit out yes. of them and tell and them And that's what worked for me. Same, so yeah. it's never been I've I've done we you know shrooms I've had ecstasy a couple times but doesn't really work on Yeah me, me too. I've d I've done it twice I and guess I got didn't... booty, you know. Yeah I think I got two bad things yep. too. I was never like this is amazing. Right. But I was always scared of acid, coke, yeah, it's heroin, any of that shit yeah, like I pills scared. You did? Mm -hmm. You smoked it accidentally. Mm -hmm. What's in that? In high mean? school. What? what Someone told me it was pot when it wasn't. Pot. What happened to you? I got really relaxed. I was watching <laughs> the Easy Stitch commercial. <laughs> That's how I really, truly. I, I mean, thought you were going to say you freaked out and shit, but. <laughs> that was great. It. it was the best day of my life. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm still smoking heroin every day. <laughs> no. Uh, Mm. Well, that's, it, I mean, look, we're not new to this shit. It goes back to, you know, what was it? The know, Rolling I... Stone song, Mother's Little Helper. Yeah, you know, they yeah. all talked about the ladies popping speed back in the day. Didn't he yeah. realize it was what they were really doing? You know, they're getting prescribed pills and stuff. And boom, boom, boom. Next thing well, you know. Well, yeah. They're... I mean, look, to to live a drug-free life. I mean, I, I was doing something. I was talking to somebody the other day and they're like, are you on anything? I was like, I'm on Lexapro. And he's like, oh, sames. And I was like, look, if you are not on antidepressants or some form what of milligram are you on? Uh, 10, I just do a little, just a little thumb. That's what I'm on too. <laughs> but if I've been you're... thinking about seeing what 20 will do. <laughs> 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 I'm just like, I don't know. Did you like that highlight? I mean, how much fun was that? Why don't you watch a bunch more? We made a bunch more for you to watch. And then why don't you subscribe to my show? Subscribe to where my mom's at. That way, every time I drop an episode, you get, you just get it. You don't have to think about it. And then hit the notification bell so you can get notified of all the great stuff that I make. Watch other highlights, treat yourself, get your life right.